Say hi, Donatello. Hello to you all. My name is HJ and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. This time I'm going to be showing you how to actually stay alive while farming up. I'm also going to be showing you how to use dinosaurs that you tame and have saddles for. And finally I'm going to be showing you how to go into the caves and harvest from there. The first tip I can give you is not to sprint or jump unless needed. I've said this many times before in the previous video and I want to say it again. If you sprint or jump or do anything that requires energy when you don't absolutely need it, you will drain a lot of your water and your food. If you look on the right hand side you'll see my energy going down but as it recovers my water rapidly, very rapidly goes down. The food slightly less so but still significantly. You might also want to be on the lookout for the status effects that you see on the bottom left of the screen. If you are hot then your water will drain faster. If you are overheated then your water will drain even faster and you will gradually lose health. The opposite is true for the cold. If you are cold then you will lose your food meter faster and if you are having hypothermia then you will lose food even faster than when you are cold and you will start losing health. The second warning I want to give is that you shouldn't stay in any water for too long. The reason for this is because piranhas are everywhere and I mean that literally. It's like they spawn the moment you get in the water like the one in front of you. And they deal quite a bit of damage and usually they swarm you. There's nothing you can do to survive and you can't fight them off unless you have flak armor of course. The second danger is that if you stay in too long, like I've also mentioned in the previous episode, is that if you run out of energy you will drown and you can't get energy back. My fourth and final tip is a pretty obvious one. Never go exploring during the night. It's not because it gets more dangerous or there's more dino spawns or anything. It's simply more dangerous because you can't see the dinos when they come for you. And if you don't know the area around you, you'll never find your way back. You'll get lost and you will die eventually. Once you've hit level 25, you'll finally be able to make steel weapons or iron weapons. To create them, you just need 8 pieces of metal, which you can farm from mountain tops or even from normal rocks if you're lucky enough. The pike does a lot more damage than the spear and won't break as easily. You can use this to go into the caves. The caves are a much more entertaining way to level as you actually get to kill several enemies and they also drop um, rare recipes. Stock up well for the caves, you'll need at least two stacks of food and you need to fill up your food meter before you go. You also want to take at least five stimulants as there are many enemies in the caves that will take your top bar up and can knock you out and then kill you. Reaching the caves really isn't all that hard either. You just have to follow the little pathway behind your house, well, behind my house at least. Keep as left as you possibly can. I'll fast forward until you get to the caves. Just prepare for lag when you arrive in the caves because it always happens for some reason. The Pre-rendering or something is still up to shit. Eventually you come across a T intersection in the caves. To the right is just a few enemies that you can fight to farm for experience and to the left is more enemies but there's also an, the artifact of the hunter which you can eventually use to summon the broodmother but that, but that is truly super late game. You'll need to be level 67 and, and have several friends with T-Rexes to help you with that thing. I'll fast forward once again to get to the artifact or to the first fight. Thank you. 
If you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy to kill any creature in the cave, even if they are much higher level than you. Just attack them while while strafing backwards. It might not look like your attack is connecting, but it does some damage to them. Just be sure to check the inventories before you completely destroy them, since sometimes they do have valuable things on them. For example, this one has one of the recipes I was talking about. That recipe in particular makes you stronger and it makes you run for longer. A little bit further on the path that I was on now will eventually lead to the artifact of the hunter, which as I've said before shouldn't really concern you too much right now. This is the reason why spiders are so dangerous to fight. Even after the battle is done, the tranquilizers they shot you with were still busy increasing it so far. If you do not eat stimulants soon, you will pass out and will make you an easy target for any boas, spiders, scorpions or bats that are nearby. You can go back to where the path splits up and then you can go right instead of left and then just keep on farming them until you have the level you need or the resources or whatever else you came down here for. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video, I hope you found it helpful, if you have, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and maybe something else that I can do, and of course subscribe, if Fiji would really appreciate it, he will bite your hand off, better subscribe.